Android TV is almost nothing like Google TV. It's much better. Its first hardware is the Nexus player, a little hockey puck of a thing, but eventually Google hopes Android will be built into lots of TVs and set-top boxes. The software is super simple. At the top of the colorful homepage, you get a running left-to-right list of everything you've been watching recently. Below it, you'll see all the apps you've downloaded. Below that, all the games you've downloaded. Below that, settings. You can scroll through everything to find what you want to watch, or you can just use voice search. There's a mic in the remote, and you tap the button and say, Sons of Anarchy, to go straight to the show. You can also say things like movies starring Natalie Portman, or Oscar-winning movies from 1999, or funny movies. The search is great when it works, but it does some weird things sometimes. You'll get the right results, and then just a bunch of other movies that have nothing to do with anything. That, or it'll pick two of the things you search for and ignore the other one. It can be strange sometimes. You'll eventually be able to search through Netflix, Hulu, and other apps, but for now it's just Google Play and YouTube. There are also these neat info cards below every movie, which show you who's in it and some vital information about the picture. There's not that much to do with the Nexus player yet. It has Netflix, which I actually never managed to get to work, and it has Hulu and Crackle and Pandora and obviously YouTube. But there's not that much new to watch here. Developers have lots of control and access and will probably make more apps quickly, but right now it's really basic. You can, of course, use it like a Chromecast to send movies and music and even browser tabs to your TV. That's the most powerful thing here so far. You can play simple games with the included remote or buy a gamepad to play harder ones. There are only a few available so far, but they work pretty well. And everything syncs through Google, so if you're playing a game on your TV, you can pick up right where you left off on your phone. The whole interface uses Google's material design, so it's full of layers and animations. It's not very information dense, so you do a lot of scrolling to find whatever you're looking for. And it's sometimes not obvious when there's more information you don't see or if you're supposed to scroll to get somewhere. The interface is pretty responsive, but it can lag in weird places where it doesn't seem like it should. Still though, Android TV is a huge step in the right direction. It's much better than Google TV. It's a nice simple interface that you just sort of intuitively figure out. It puts YouTube and Badland and The Walking Dead, both show and video game, on your TV. All it needs now is more. More apps, more things to watch, more games, more power to run things fast. Just more. 